Here comes Pinky. Doing a great, 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 hey. great job. Well, you're today. in there jogging with me. Oh, well, why? I'm tired from the last two days. Tired from tired. what? From all that work we've been doing, getting everything prepped, and all the traveling for Christmas. So I only need. What, what are you doing? What, what's your plan? I was watching you. You know My what? We need to yours. exercise. I think I got you. Okay, I, I, I got you. The reason why I'm jogging because you're right. Are you? Do, do you mean um, what we did during Christmas in Mom's house? I mean what we did during Christmas. I'm tired. You're doing a great job, Pinky. Yay! Okay, really? Yes. Okay, I think we we will have the camera together. How's that? Okay. Yes, it was really a pretty good job for for both of us. It was a pretty good job. Yeah. You remember what happened? I remember every detail. <laughs> really, every detail? Every okay, detail. remind me, please. Okay. And then we got up super early the next morning so we could brine the turkey. So this was Pinky's first turkey. And uh, she helped me brine it. And she learned the crazy secrets of my recipe. And up like it's six o'clock today and then i'm with chef yeah this is chris this is the day this is the day so i'm about ready to make my secret ultra fantastic turkey and to do a great turkey it's all about preparation so i start with a gallon of Cider. Okay. Only apple cider. And then put. So we have what is this? So we have orange juice. Half a gallon of orange juice. Okay. So we mix it. You came up with this uh, for this procedure after how many years? <coughs> it took 20 years. Huh? Wow. Uh, we're talking. Okay. Then you gotta throw a, a bunch of salt on it. Usually about a half a container of this. So this procedure is called what again? We're brining the turkey. But okay. This is special brine. So we are brining this right now. So now I'm going to turn on the heat. You got to bring it to a slow, not too slow, but you got to bring it to a boil. Okay. And okay. by boiling it, we do a couple of things. We force everything into solution and the other stuff we're about to put in. So, while first off, okay. we're gonna pour sugar. That's brown sugar. Mm, brown sugar, yeah, absolutely brown sugar. Well, bay we have leaves. Here is bay leaves. Well, it actually. Uh, it, it adds to the texture. It does add to the aroma as well. But normally I put in at least a dozen bay leaves. Mm -hmm. Alright, so these are celery seeds. Alright, so let's show it. So this is celery seed. This is sage. It's... And finally, some that is cloves. Okay, cloves. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this stops on. It just it just layers to the taste. Mm -hmm. so, we mix those. So what this does is the seasoning will actually start to impregnate the turkey, but the salt 
will break down, the salt solution will break down the, um, the meat. It'll tender, tenderize the meat. So it'll make the turkey softer. The apple cider and the orange juice will make the slightly base turkey more acidic. It'll actually change the pH of the turkey. And turkey tastes better when it's slightly acidic. And then the spices that go into it just allow some of the flavor that permeates into the turkey. Creates a more complex taste, a more layered taste. The brine solution will actually not make the turkey taste salty. It does not give the turkey a salty taste. The salty taste comes tomorrow when you actually put your salt in. It's only meant to break So although you put really much of salt right now here. It won't make it a salty taste. Mm. Hey guys, it took this guy 20 years. 20 years, so perfect. So within 20 years, um, did it mean that you tried like lots of turkeys. experiments? Yes, many experiments. And I had very good friends who um, really fancied themselves molecular cooks. Let me do it. This is only what I can do and you, help you, you right now. This yeah. There. All right, so guys, let's just uh, keep stirring this one until it boils, okay? This and this is why your turkeys will never become gray. Because you gotta show love all the time. Focus and passion, thank you. Even stirring, your mind is wandering off to tonight. <laughs> Put the love on the look, you can't need to stir because if you're not gonna show love, you don't earn the right to stir. Love, 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 spread the love. Oh, this is Chess. She is Kenny and Julie's dog. You know what? She woke up with us and she kept bothering us because she wanted her treat. But unfortunately, she has really lots of allergies. So, sorry, Jess, sorry. Look how passionate he is, guys. Patiently wait for any one or two bubbles to come out okay so we are now putting it aside here in a cool area of the stove and also here in the fridge we're taking off our turkey and then he really wants me to do it and you want me to do it if you think yeah. you're ready for it all right okay so guys it's my turn this is a big deal, you know, super big deal. It's my first time. Thank you, thank you. So, what you want to do, Pinky, mm -hmm. is you got to remove the covering. Okay, mm -hmm. save the instructions. There'll be some instructions in here. And you've got to remove the neck, the liver, the gizzards. <laughs> but if you don't, you're going to have a mess on your hands. Okay. And then you want to rinse it off. And then when we're done, we're gonna then transport it over to this cooler. Okay, I can deal with that. I'm ready. Okay. I can dress chicken. You ready? Turkey too. <whistles> after that, after taking off the uh, gizzard and stuff some kind of turkey, we need to disinfect our sink. Because? Well, because poultry carries Salmonella and other um, foodborne foodborne pathogens. You got it. Is <laughs> of course we put our turkey here in our um, clear with lots of ice cubes in there. All right, so stay there, turkey. <laughs> After cooling down the pie, no worries. 
goodness, guys. This is just so tempting smell. Oh, so good. Okay, so after it's completely cool now, guys, we're gonna pour it here. Hey, you notice I didn't have enough to fill it up? So I to get that That's a problem, Pinky, right? If what? The problem is what? You didn't have enough to fill it up. Okay, so? So. What are we going to do? Is we throw another. Ah. So this will actually help. The water we put in here is still pretty cold. So. Cover the lid, wait 24 hours. Guys, 24 hours. See you, 24 hours. Okay, so Sorry. after that. Oh, after that, then we had to go get uh, food for the rest of the Christmas meal and Christmas Eve meal. So you mean you went to, oh, I mean, we both went to Myers. We went to Myers, which is a big supermarket, not far from our homes. I see. Guys, so that is what you're going to see in our video. We had a crazy shopping there, remember? Pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. Remember that we had both carts at a time? You were still helping me. I was helping. Yeah. Well, I can always count on you. Aww. So you can see Chris is scraping the snow on our shield. So we really need to scrape this so we can go. So we are hitting the road right now. It's time check. It is um, 9.20 a.m. And it is December 24, 2019. So today we woke up like around 6 o'clock as we uh, showed you the video. And um, by, by the way, this is our master chef. And I'm just your assistant. Aww. So our Turkish should be sitting down there for 24 hours and then we're just gonna hit it on tomorrow for our Noche Buena. And so right now we are on our way to Meyer. Meyer is uh, one of the, uh, of course, the big stores here. And then we are just picking up some stuffs there. This is really giving me a lot of pressure because this is purely American people. And he can make really good food, which I didn't try yet. So luckily, mom likes some um, green beans, the baggy beans as we call it in the Philippines. Because one time I made it for her and she's liking it. Aww. And guess what? It is a traditional food here. So um, he suggested that I'm making it. Um, I'm excited, mixed of what, worried? that I cannot really perfect my mashed potato today. I'm gonna make it today for the first time thanks to YouTube. I will just rely on it, honestly. So I hope that I can make it. <laughs> Plus the gravy, oh my gosh. Oh, what a stressful day and exciting day as well. Say what? Uh, what else? I really wanna do stuffing as they call it here. Stuffing is like from the word stuff. So you can just make your own version. But I don't want to suicide on that. <laughs> We're here already and um, I am ready to push our cart. And I have my, of course, my uh, list here ready to go. All right, so goodbye guys. See you inside the supermarket. And we're gonna give you later, of course, our kitchen journey. All right, hang on guys, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I can't, please help me. I'm not gonna my child. What would I do? Getting it. So I think 
pretty smart. It's chicken breast. I did not in the um and hey I'm looking actually it's very important the young corn. What? Young corn. Of course some as a <laughs> Here you are. I hate you. So I think I'm just only have this is equal to carnation, it's super popular. So how many yes. did you want? Alright, alright. So where did you get this? Why that corn of here? Oh, okay, charming. Okay, I'll go there. King Kong. <laughs> That's Bigfoot, not King Kong. What? Who? No, it's Bigfoot. Oh, okay. Young corn, where are you? Gosh, gotcha. There is you. At last. Got it. Yeah, got it now. Yeah, so this is it. Is this, this last? Corn. Yeah. We're done. Well, so now, you know, we need to look for a coffee maker for mom. Because her coffee maker. Is really going crazy these days. This is really what is it? Brad and Jim back together. Keep crazy. Okay, guys, let me tell you something interesting in the US. During Christmas, stores display what they call ugly outfit. In fact, this has become a tradition in many workplaces or even at homes. You know what? They compete. It's like you win as the ugliest outfit. Oops, don't get offended. It's a compliment. Take a look at this, for example. How about this? Ugly, isn't it? <laughs> And how about this? Ooh, would you wear this one too? This is the worst for me. <laughs> and this is the worst. Pay, pay, pay. What an efficient word for the counter here. What do you think? Ready to go home. I already forgot where we parked. <laughs> I'll follow you. You know what? In the US, there is a parking space for the push carts after you use it. How do you like the discipline, guys? Otherwise, CCTV is everywhere. Labutka. So, be a good citizen. We're going home. It's 11 o'clock, so how long do we spend our shopping? Oh, an hour and a half. An hour and a half. And anyway, that is normal. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna grab something to eat while he's preparing for his pie. He's gonna make it. It's traditional. It's not traditional. It's beyond traditional. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll come home after the movie and we'll prepare our traditional shrimp vegetable cheese okay. platter. I just really hate to think that I am stressed and you know worried about this preparation. 
because I know in myself that I'm confident in the kitchen. But again, this is America. So what? Oh my God. They have food in the Philippines. I know. <laughs> but wait a minute. That sounds familiar. I used to say that to you. I'm confident in your ability in the kitchen. Absolutely no concern. That's exactly the reason why he married me. He kept telling me that, you know. Wait a minute, you told me that. I'm okay, confident. okay, fine, okay, fine, okay, fine. You know, people change. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, give me a second chance. Now I know what mom likes. Okay. Anyway, guys, it's the most important is the mother, right? Remember that. And I believe in it. The most important is your mother-in-law. Because as mothers, no, I mean, because children believe their mothers. So start from the mother. But so sad that my my partner what? is really struggling with what I prepare. Oh. Because you prepare things and put stuff hey. in it, it doesn't lie. You guys, thank you for you know for keeping suggesting um, you know the challenge. And one of them is to challenge this guy to try some foods that you are going to suggest, okay? Looking forward to that. And balloon doesn't count because that's not happening. Oh, come on. That's why it's a challenge. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, we're now here. And I think, you know, we got to start to be busy. All right. I'm so, I'm still his assistant chef today. Bye. Um, so, and then we went back home. We went home, and that's where I prepared my world famous Chris Caribbeanized Derby Pie. Only place in the world you can get it is when I cook. Caribbean ice derby pie. By the way, um, derby pie is what? Is it a traditional? It's a traditional Kentucky kind of... dessert. Oh, it's Kentucky dessert. It's a walnut dessert. pie dessert that I Caribbeanized <laughs> it during my time in the Caribbean. Okay, I so. I blended the flavors. It's tremendous fusion cooking. Kentucky Caribbean, wow. So guys, he made it. Were we happy at a time? Watch our video, okay? Watch it. Walnut. Let's put it up again next year, Mom. Uh, you know, a snow little one's coming in, and the dogs kept getting into it. My first time. Okay, so this is the other ingredients of the pie. I am mixing this up now. So make sure I get blend with. Well, I think this will be a nice, this will be a nice This part. Placing so, these two parts in our oven. So, the one is for tonight. And since I insisted on taking part in this turkey journey of Chris. Yeah, more or less. So, it's my turn. You know, this turkey is so heavy. And... Oh my gosh, I'm not really sure if I can do this. It's too cold. It's ah. Push that bay leaf down while you have it as well. Okay. See, All right. see, see wish. Put your hand down there and uh, rotate that turkey. Okay. 
rotate. Oh, it's just easy because it's just floating. Yeah, that's not hard. Okay. Get the bay leaf back. Okay. Don't take the bay leaf. Push it back down. <laughs> Put your wine in. There's no whining in turkey cooking. Oh my god! Yeah. Alright, no. Not easy. You know? Easy, oh my god. Easy. Okay, Doug? Done. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris's Caribbean Derby Pie! I stayed home, mom went to church. We split up for a while. I went to see Star Wars with my brothers. So, is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Mm. Okay. Yeah, so you guys, um, you can see in our video that I was alone. Because you know why? You started preparing Christmas Eve dinner. Because you left me. Oh <laughs> no! Hello guys, um, right now it is 4.37 p.m. and it is December 24. So in the Philippines right now it's already Christmas, so we're gonna celebrate it tonight here. And right now, you know what, I'm alone this afternoon. Well, it's my choice. So well, right now I'm preparing actually for our dinner, I gotta prepare um, just one dish for the night since Chris um, you know, we also have to um, prepare um, and uh, for the record guys this year, this Christmas in Abel family it is our turn to prepare uh, you know, Noche Buena alright, so you guys Merry Christmas there, I know that um, you're sleeping right now and then um, at least uh, you know you already celebrated your christmas there oh, new year is coming i know it's gonna be much busier in there but mm, <laughs> i love you because we're not gonna be busy Ooh, yay, ah. Ooh. okay but i prepared because uh that night we had our noche buena remember i told you noche buena can no you say that noche buena Noche buena. Okay. okay, so super what? super important evening and meal in my family's house. That was the la that day was the last day that my father had a family dinner with us. Oh really? And so every year we celebrate him by having that same meal that he had the the uh, the last meal he had together before he passed away. That's so sad. It's a time to so so that means so December, December you had that and then he died when he died early February. He went in the hospital right after. Christmas. Oh no! So that's two months later. Yeah. Well, he was in the hospital. Well, anyway, let's not spoil this happen. It's charming. Yeah, so, oh. so, so so we had a uh, with a lot of work from Pinky, we recreated our traditional meal. And she added a little bit of Filipino flair in there. But my, my family was super happy with, uh, super happy with the addition she made. And uh, Why? What did I do? Here. No, 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 no. They're going to see that in my video. All right. We're ready to have our Noche Buena. This Noche Buena is... Um, Philippine term mom like before Christmas Noche Buena is Spanish anyway night before so this Christmas. is Kenny oh, yeah and night before Christmas like we shared it with family like 12 midnight yes this is all so we have to share this we'll food this is bites. mom Catherine hi uh, she, she got this lots of gifts today from Kenny Hello. yeah and yeah we are going to share these shrimps all of these shrimps and I have this Philippine one food, one Philippine food, chop suey. <laughs> Mom say chop suey. Chop chewy. Chop chewy. <laughs> That's good. Anyway, so Merry Christmas all. So we decided to have dessert. Mm. And my pies got presented to everyone. And we'll let uh, Pinky follow up on it. 
Hey, yeah, I have my video on that. Don't worry. My review with your pie. Okay, part. Thank you. Well, there is dessert coming. Dessert? You are so lower. But I will let you try it and see for yourself. I, I already know. I, I had I've won multiple cooking contests with this pie. Hmm. Imagine. I'm telling you, you have never tasted something like this before. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Allow me to present it when you're ready. Okay. And then you can try it for yourself. Wow. And I will serve it to you. And, you know, you can make up your mind. Hmm. Time has come. And here it is. Oh my God. <laughs> you have no idea how blessed you are. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm not going to do too much, Kenny, because I don't think mentally you can handle this much goodness at one time. Uh, <coughs> you didn't forget anybody. You know, oh. most... I think it's time for us to open our coffee shop. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You have not bought anything you must before. see this. So it's a thin crust. And look at that. Ooh. Wow. There you go. Orgasm begins. Oh, do you all let me tell me video? No, no, I'm having here. Okay, there you go, Vicky. Here we go. I'll Good business, prospect. <laughs> we are open you know, for that, that franchise, for okay? So, we were so tired that day. Uh, we drank a lot of wine, too. Yeah. Um, and then we went to bed, but right before we went to bed, I gave Pinky a Christmas gift, which... Uh, What's up? Mmm. Mm. Oh, now it's time for us to rest. Finally, it's, you know, let's call it a day in a kitchen. All right. So tomorrow is another big day. But before we go to bed, of course, my charming surprise. Oh. <laughs> Eyes rolling there. I'm not sure what that means either. Okay. <coughs> so, of course. So, guys. Charming Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I feel sorry, but I don't have something for you. That's okay. Next year. This is yeah. pretty. I really want to open this, guys, with you, but it's secret. Okay. Oh. Obviously. Oh, so thin. Oh my God! I love you. I love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And guess Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.